lot of good times, a lot of good laughs, and just a great group of individuals that are really a bunch of brothers that enjoy the hunt immensely. So let's go kill a buck. At the end of the day, uh, I have the same problem that Mike does. I think he has the bug worse than I do a little bit. I've done this so many times. I've been the guy that shoots the deer on the last day. And it drives me nuts because I start playing my game with myself. I'll go if somebody's ready. You're ready. So this year, we changed it up a little bit. We usually hunt in groups of two. So depending on who draws, we hunt on different ranches and different public land and it just depends on how it lays out. And this year, Clint and I got to hunt together and Mike and Butch hunted together. Your elevation's perfect. It's, it's just a little off. It's yeah. just tough in me, but it's just a little bit. It's great yeah. right now. This is the fourth time I've hunted with Bull Basin Outfitters and Prime Revolution. There's a number of big draws that everybody gets excited about for this hunt. The first is that depending on the weather, the quality of deer, the number of deer you see is significant and unprecedented. The second aspect of the hunt that makes it special is just the camaraderie and a lot of good times, a lot of good laughs and just a great group of individuals that are really a bunch of brothers that enjoy the hunt immensely. Good luck, thank you. Good luck. You're coming back for lunch, right? Yep. So let's go kill a buck. You see the good, good buck just now? Bright and early the first morning, probably about a high 170s buck, low 180s buck, heavy horn four pointer. Uh, we're gonna ease on by him here and uh, go up in this basin, take some peaks, and probably make a couple plays after him after a bit. He's a good one. Better he be out there. I think that it's a really, really old buck. So much so that Mike's gonna sneak in on him and kill him. Pretty sure. Where we hunt, it's very dependent upon the migration. And obviously the earlier the winter and the harder the winter, 
the quicker the migration is. Well, there was a lot of deer, specifically in the area where Mike and I were hunting. You know, opening day, Mike saw a buck that he decided to take right away. Normally, he's really super selective and takes a lot of time, but has so much character and heavy mass that it was super appealing to him. I've done this so many times. I've been the guy that shoots the deer on the last day, and it drives me nuts because I start playing mind games with myself. Call it greedy or call it selfish or something, but it's like this little personal thing with me that I have to film my tag, right? It's like, I know all of, everything we do is part of the hunt, right? Like, the experience, your friends, being out here, it's all part of it. And for me, it's like, the point on the exclamation point is pulling the trigger. Good shoot. shoot! That was a good shot, man. Gotcha! <laughs> you and me together. We don't call it dope. We, we don't miss, it. baby. Oh. It'll take us all morning to get over there. <laughs> uh, with Mike, you know, we spent a lot of time at various shooting schools together and doing some long range shooting, and he took quite a poke at that buck. And I was simply there calling his range. And overall, I think what I provided to Mike on that specific buck was the uh, ambiance of you know, being right next to him while he was shooting it, which is always special. That's not the first time that's happened. We always have a great time when it does happen. I'm a little, I'm a little shaky right now, but he's just a giant old mule deer, and I'm like super excited, especially to have my best friend Butch Whiting here. I know we hunt together, we we get each other, we know what each other can do, and. It always seems to work out, brother. Thank you very I'm much, man. You, dude, that was dude, huh? that was a freaking that was a big boy shot. <laughs> yes, it was, brother. Thank you, man. That was impressive. And you know what the other best part about this is? Butch has to put the pumpkin suit on, and I get to take it off. <laughs> Congrats, brother. That's Thanks, how you man. shoot him, bud. Yeah. Oh, boy, it's just a Well, I'll tell you, this is year seven that we've been coming here with Dean and Susan at Bull Base and Guides and Outfitters. Dean runs a first class outfit, great guides. They want you to have a good experience. They want you to harvest a big buck and have a great hunt. We'll just keep coming back here every year. This is my favorite hunt of the year. And as you can see, Colorado is, is pretty beautiful. that we're looking at way way over there well what do you think about that deer he's been here a while i don't think he's gonna go anywhere let's go up there and take a look at some other ground then all the spotting scopes were taken 
plus it's warmer in the truck and I have a window mount. So. Usually Chad scope blocks me from the other side, so I'm taking advantage of this. Ultimately, what it's coming down to, it's not necessarily about score at all. It's more about a great, mature, great specimen, something that's special, unique, and a good representation of the deer that are in the area. The weather's about the same, cold, you know, single digits in the morning, warms up to about 30, 35 during the middle of the day. I mean, they're right in the middle of the rut, so you're seeing new bucks every day, uh, lots of deer. Hopefully Butch will put the smack down on one today. like they're feeding that way, coming on the other side. But there's also a bunch coming right down to the bottom. Area we're hunting, they got a lot of elk in here that come in here, headed towards their winter ground. So they've been kind of giving us a little, little bit of hell, <laughs> chasing the deer around. Well, we thought we see a non-typical with all kinds of junk going on got the spotting scopes on him and it was a branch in the tr in the horns of this deer he had torn off. So we got pretty exciting there for about five minutes till we figured out what was going on. <laughs> it's too bad. When it comes to Prime Revolution, we've been involved from the very beginning. Cryptic's very honored to be a part of that group. On this hunt, we were able to include the uh, Cryptic Edition Dodge Ram 1500 Minotaur that was produced by Prefix. This truck is special because it's in collaboration with the uh, National Rifle Association, and you can actually win a truck exactly like this truck in a sweepstakes that they have going on. Go check it out. That's for sure, and then the fronts are kind of deceiving.
what drove me to go after and target the buck was its frame and mass. I actually, you know, found that buck after we'd seen some does and I walked back just to kind of take another look and, and saw that deer from probably four or 500 yards away. Now like the white post yeah. and him and a doe were just going over the top, walking away from us. That's awesome. That's a lot of lead at that close to range. <sighs> I can't wait to get it close. <laughs> yeah, I, do never, I never really got a chance to look at everything like through the, no, he's through a the good, scope. He's a good buck, dude. Yeah, I think so. Let's go check him out. I think that that thing just absolutely hammered him. That 265 grain Acubon. Holy cow, man. That's aim and crush. Lights out, huh? Lights out. It's a cool buck, dude. I like that cheater. Just look at the frame on this thing. Well, I've killed a bunch of mule deer, and the neck on this deer was, like, phenomenal. We ended up measuring, I don't think we got it on film, but it was 32 inches around the base of the neck at the ear. And then I think it was 38 right where it hit the chest. So that was a cool aspect of it. I mean, I've never shot a deer with such a massive neck. Um, of course, just in general, the cape was amazing. The deer was amazing. People talk about how heavy a deer is, you know, X number of pounds. I just know that in terms of how massive that deer's neck was, is the biggest, biggest deer I've ever killed. Both deer we killed have amazing character. Amazing character. Yeah. The places we've been around the world hunting together. It just seems like, for me anyway, coming back here every year to Colorado is like, it's my favorite hunt of the year. Well, Colorado has some awesome deer. We don't have our pumpkin suits on, but you'll see on video, I had mine on. But Halloween's over, so we took them off for some pictures and some video. Congratulations. Thank you, man. That was awesome. Love you, brother. Love you too, man. We've had this conversation, Mike and I, several times, you know, if you could only choose to hunt one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Time and time again, we come back around to mule deer. And I think part of that is, if you look how both of us were raised and what we did with our families, it was mule deer hunting. And I think it's really just been established in the fiber of our personalities. At the end of the day, uh, I have the same problem that Mike does. I think he has the bug worse than I do a little bit, but we both, immensely enjoy mule deer hunting, which ties back into why this hunt's so special. I'll keep coming back to hunt Bull Basin as long as Dean will have me and Mike and, and the rest of the crew. If you look at the voice of the Prime Revolution brand, it's exceptional hunting, but then also the group of individuals that's participating in the hunt. It's about 
passing on tradition. It's about passing on the culture that we grew up in with our children. And I think that's the essence of, of hunting.